What's up? It's the Breakfast Club. I'm Angela Yee. This is Jocelyn And we are doing Donkey of the Day. Who do you want to give your donkey to? Who's this? This is Marquita from Columbus, Ohio. All right. Who you want to give the donkey to this morning? I said Donkey of the Day to all the guys out there that are dating women but don't have anywhere to live themselves. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but they living with these women? <laughs> You know, the couch hoppers. Listen, oh. that is, yes, let's give them donkey. Yeah, somebody <laughs> must have hopped off our couch. But listen, if you don't have money, right, if you're a guy, are you not supposed to date? No. <laughs> that is not cool. <laughs> that is not cool. All right, so it's somebody for everybody. What, what if a girl is broke? You know, y'all could be broke together. Nobody don't need to be dating if they broke. Listen, this <laughs> sounds personal. What happened to you? Yes. <laughs> Just know I had an experience. <laughs> <laughs> At least she honest about it. All right, she giving him donkey of the day. <laughs> All right, thank you. Good morning. Who is this? Who do you want to give your... Oh, we don't know who? Uh, he's going to be right back on that couch tonight. <laughs> Good morning. We are doing donkey of the day. Who do you want to give your donkey to? Good morning, y'all. I want to give donkey of the day to um, my kid's father, my mm. son's father, um, I was supposed to be going out of town for my birthday. Well, I did still go out of town. I found a babysitter, but um, he canceled on me last minute. Mm. He didn't want to watch my son. Um, and his reason being was because I didn't text him back fast enough. What? But this isn't a first time thing. It's like an ongoing thing. But he doesn't have a problem with texting me and asking me for sex or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to him... <clears throat> having to watch my son for me. Even if I got to work or something, he's like, no, he can't do it. And by the he's way, that's his son, too. To yeah. Not just your son. That's his son yeah. also. Yeah, like, and I'm, he asked me to have him. Like, what? <laughs> But now, the whole I just, thing about it, you was going out of town, so he ain't know where you was going. That's him being insecure. He he's like, he wants you, but then yeah. he don't. I just mm. want to yeah, back up for a second, you. though. You <laughs> said that he texted you for sex, so that means you're still having sex with him. Yeah. No, I'm not still having sex with him at all. When the last time? Like, probably like a year. You lying. You lying. This year just started. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm definitely not lying. Like, right, he, right. he always, like, he would call me, leave me voicemails and stuff. And, like, I block, I had to block his number for a while because it was like, I, I, I can ask you to do things for our son. And half the time you say no, but you don't have a problem of reaching out to me and asking me for sex. And mm -hmm. then when I say no, it's okay. Now he really can't do anything for our son. And Who still these voicemails? Without talking. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. All crazy. right. Well, listen, let's give him donkey of the day. And I hope you had a good birthday anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, that is donkey of the day. Seems like, and it was all women on the line. I just want to say there's a lot of people on here calling in. A lot yeah. of people want to give donkeys of the day to people who are some guy she went out with spent $1,000 on bottles but has no place to live. Oh. Yeah. He's probably an all-star. Definitely. Donkey of the day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.